that we really trust each other. We work together and we know that, you know, it doesn't just re revolve around one person, that we all, we know we all got to work together to get to win. You know, we're not going to have one person scoring 25 points. We're going to have every single person at least getting in the teens of double digits and that's how we know what it takes to win. My biggest concern coming in I think all along with the coaches was just our maturity level and we play some really tough games early on uh, and I sometimes you know question where we were coming but we stayed balanced. Um, even in our, some bigger games, our big wins against Troy, South Shelby was really a, a motivator these last couple weeks. Uh, we use that now, and I think right now we just, we're just we excited to play, and when you have a team that's excited to play, you know they're confident. That has proven a sound strategy to this point for the Lady Raiders, who have fashioned an impressive 19-3 record against a brutally tough schedule. One that includes red letter wins against Hinsdale South, Troy Buchanan, Central Southeastern, and most recently, South Shelby. Uh, that was a great win for us because it gave us a lot of confidence. And right now our team just has great confidence and we're playing really well. That bolstered schedule should give Eric Orn's team some momentum stepping up headlong into the Class 3A playoff bracket this season. And this week's five game gauntlet only reinforces that notion, starting with tonight's Crosstown Showdown with Red Hot Quincy Hall. Uh, absolutely, uh, Quincy High is playing incredibly well right now, uh, doing a lot of different things well, both offensively and defensively, and playing incredibly hard. Uh, they've got a solid mismatch issues that we are going to have to deal with uh, from our side of it, just because their post players are playing so strong with uh, Jada and Taylor. We know they're a good 4A team. We know they've got a lot of they got two good, great posts, Jada and Taylor, and a great shooter, Miley, and they got two good drivers, Lee and uh, Layla. So we got our hands full tomorrow, but we know um, it's nothing we haven't seen. You know, we're, we're ready for them and we're excited to play this game. We know it's going to be a great crowd and we know there's a great team. They're going to give us great competition, which we're going to see in the postseason. What's great is there'll be a lot of juice in the gym. Um, there'll be some electricity uh, that usually amps up a player's ability to perform well. Uh, we're just excited about this opportunity. All these games are at home, especially this weekend with the Super Fan Shootout. But uh, just like I said, we're preparing for one game at a time. That's all we can do at this time. But uh, our girls are excited for this week for sure. And things get no easier on the back end as this culminates with a brutish two-step at the Super Fan Shootout Friday and Saturday with fast rising Clopton. Yeah, and they're just an upcoming team that's trending really well right now. Um, I, I tell you what, that was really the first girls years ago super fan shootout that really got everybody's attention. And we had so many battles over the years with the great Clopton teams. And defending 1A state champion, Oakville. And then you got Oakville sliding on Saturday, the 1A defending champion. And I'm not sure there's a team in class A that plays any harder than they do. They're just gonna pester you the entire game. Uh, they play extremely hard, like I mentioned before, the crowd girl being an all-stater, one of the top players in the state. Uh, the, for those who love basketball, and especially girls basketball, just an entertaining game because it's going to be up and down. Yeah. Um, it's, it's one of my favorite games of the whole year just because of how big the crowd is. Um, the teams we get to play, they're really good teams. I'm excited for Oakville on Saturday. We know they're a great uh, program um, and Clopton as well. We're just excited and we just love playing in front of this crowd, in front of these people. And we just, we just love to showcase our talents too and get people ready to see what the postseason run's gonna look like.